Hey, I'm Michael Waddell, and I want to give a little time to give some insight of what I tote in my turkey vest when I'm going head to head with old Longbeard Turkey. I'm gonna go ahead and start with something that says we got a lot of confidence that we're gonna be toting one out. Now, I got a little turkey tote. This is a leather one right here. I can hook one side to the head, one to his feet, and tote this sucker out, cause 20 pounds gets a little aggravating to tote out, you know, when you uh, are trying to just grab him by the feet. Now, a lot of people say, well, if you got a vest, why don't you put him in the vest? Well, that's what I'm talking about. This cool compartment on these vests, there's a lot of other things I like to tote in there that I might not want to get blood on, so that's why I take a turkey tote. Inside here, a lot of times I'll carry an extra decoy. Sometimes I'll put an extra jacket. If I start off cold and I want to shed it, I stuff it in here. So this becomes like my backpack. Inevitably, sometimes turkey hunting, I don't even take a turkey vest every time, but this vest is important because it becomes a suitcase that goes with me, whether I'm flying, whether I throw it in the back of my truck. So always what you see here, at least this is in my vest. So one is I always have a couple locator calls. Two most lo important locator calls to me is the barred owl and a crow call. They're very simple, easy to use. They go really easy on the vest. Most come with lanyards. You can put them on the side of your vest and easy to access. Another thing I always take is a pair of compact binoculars. These are little Bushnell binoculars. They fit so well in the turkey vest. They're easy. They're not real bulky. They're not heavy. I can always find that turkey if I'm scanning fields. I always tote some type of headgear. I'm a big fan of these net that you can put over your head and wear it on your neck the whole time. But when I'm done hunting, I wad my gloves and this head net out and put it in a pouch because I know it's there. Part of it is just organizing me because if you talk to my wife, she'll tell you I'm not organized and I won't disagree that I'm not. So, but at least my turkey vest is. Most of the time, I usually have two head nets and two pair of gloves. One is I'm a dude, so I lose a lot of stuff, and 99% of the time you go with somebody, somebody always forgets their head neck gloves, so I tote two in there, plenty of room in a vest. I always take a pair of snips, because even though I can about sit down on a cactus if a goblin turkey don't bother me, or a hickory stick or anything don't bother me, somebody if you're hunting with, you might need to snip out a lane, cut a little sweet gum down, you might need to cut a few pieces of brush and get you backed in a, in a situation where you're more hid, so I always carry a good pair of snips with me. I also carry two different types of pot calls, usually a glass and a slate. If I'm feeling like my vest getting a little heavy, I'll typically lose the slate and just tote the glass. I always bring at least two or three different strikers because that gives me a bunch of different tones and one call with that. So essentially, even though I got one call, so I basically got three with changing up my strikers. Um, I always tote a good box call, one. And I got a place, I make sure that I keep it where I can keep it chalked. So I always keep a spare piece of chalk. And I always keep this in a place where it don't make any noise. But I always have a place for my box call. Um, another thing I do, I'm big on mouth calls. A lot of times, I'll be hunting like a poacher and I just have my mouth calls, leave my vest at home. But this might be sitting back at camp and I might only take my mouth calls and maybe a shotgun shell. But I always have my mouth calls. When I'm done, Typically, all I do is take this and I wrap it right back around my turkey vest. So all my tools, all my weaponry is sitting right here. So basically, in short, that is my turkey vest dump. Why do I like a turkey vest? Well, I like them for a lot of reasons. One is I'm getting a little older. You can sit comfortable with a good pad. In this case, you got a place to lean back even if you don't have a tree. But for me, the number one reason that all this goes, even though every time I might not leave with this vest, I know that if I keep this organized, anytime I pick it up, it's like a bat bag to play baseball, I got all the things that I can play the game with. And every one of these tools become more important at different places in the strategy to get a tag on a turkey, but every one of them I'll use, typically daily, but definitely within a week of turkey hunting, I'm using them all. So I always got them, they go in this vest, it's organized, it's either in my truck bed, in the back of my truck, or it's in my bag and I'm traveling to fly. The only other thing that I also make sure I have is some extra shells, and I make sure I have it's what I call 911 paper, either some dude wipes or some toilet paper, because I'm gonna tell you something, when mother nature comes calling, you gonna answer, you gonna answer. So you better have something other than some hickory leaves and some poison ivy leaves have to wipe with. And the most important thing that I always put in my turkey vest, in this case, this has been in there already, is a little Swiss cake roll by Little Debbie. 
We're not endorsed by Little Debbie. We just love them. And there's nothing more that after a good successful hunt, maybe you put, break this sucker out of the bag, maybe a little smush, and enjoy your little chocolate delight with a dead flopping turkey, even a little blood on your hand. It's just a marvelous celebration. So don't forget, bring you a little snack, especially if you're hunting with your kids and husbands, if you're hunting with your wife. They get to walking, a little lady get a little hungry, a little testy. She's trying to get to Waffle House and you think around the corner might be one goblin. You might not get to eat it, but you can tide that youngin over and tide that lovely lady of yours over with that little Swiss cake roll. Put that sucker and protect it with your life. That's my turkey vest dump right there. Well, all right, I was honest and transparent. What was in my vest? Y'all comment below, what's in yours? Oh, don't leave. One last thing I'm gonna tell you about. Get you a good knife, cause you're gonna need to be breasting out a turkey. You follow all these calling tips and what we're talking about right here, you better have something to breast out a turkey with.